Hey guys, Pankaj here. Welcome back. So in today's statistics, we are going to learn about what is violent plot and what is population in sample. So we'll see in detail and uh, a couple of concepts which I'll try to prove with the help of whiteboard as well as through program. Okay. So let me share my desktop. So here is a notebook where I'll be explaining about violent plot, then population, sample, and mean of population and sample. Okay, how it is relevant. So first of all, let me talk about violent plot. What exactly violent plot it is? So let me use whiteboard and tell you. So I have already explained about this, how to plot, right? Using Seaborn. And uh, I have talked about histogram as well as uh, a box plot, right? So if you take a look at histogram once again, let's see that. So this is how it looks like, right? And what was your KDE plot? It was looking something like this, correct? So, and what about box plot? It was like this. Okay, well, uh, minimum whisker and max whisker, and this is your median. So what happened? Basically, you are getting a PDF or kernel density estimation plot with the help of uh, a histogram, right? So let me just type hist, and this is your KDE, and this is your box plot so how we got kd basically we uh smooth the curve right histogram is to kd is nothing but smooth and curve of uh smooth and plot of histogram correct so we will combine all the center of this curve and finally you will get kd plot like this okay and uh, kd is nothing but it is having all the probability distribution of the given point correct which we have already talked in the previous video. So those who are not sure about this, then please go back and uh, talk, uh, see the previous video where I've talked about PDF, CDF, and kernel density estimation. Okay. And in the box plot, we have min, uh, this is basically 25 percentile. This is 50 percentile or also known as median because this represents the median value. Okay. And this is your 75 percentile. Okay. So what happened if you, you have to plot these kind of you know multiple plots for multiple data, right? So what if I plot one single plot where I'll be getting KD as well as box together, correct? So it will save a lot of space as well as in single graph, you are going to get uh, both the world, right? KD as well as box, right? So how it will look like, basically, you will have box plot, lower and minimum, minimum as well as max. And side of these box plot, right? It will be representing as your kernel density estimation. Okay. That is what is your violin plot. It looks like violin, right? Okay. So we'll see how to plot this in uh, Seaboard. And this will be again your X axis. And this will be your Y axis. So it's a good, right? In single graph only, you are going to talk about uh, box plot, five point summary, which, which is also known as five point summary, right? And you will be talking about KD also, how your data is spread across the median. Okay, so this will be your median. So let me just show with the help of graph now. So as usual, I'll be importing all the library, NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. Okay, let's go ahead and import. And let's get some sample data. Or maybe I'll load one data set that is Iris. So SNS dot load data set iris. Okay, let's go ahead and plot the first what I'll be plotting. I'll be plotting separate KD as well as uh, box plot. Okay, so here is your box plot. SNS dot box plot df dot let's say I'm talking about petal length. Okay. And if I give y equal to this and width equal to let's say 0.3, it will look much better. And if you talk about KD plot, right? Let's plot them together. So that is what is your KD. So if you see here your uh, Median is somewhere around 4.5 and all the data is spread across, right? And their probability density is also plotted, okay? So the, the idea of having violent plot is combining box plot as well as KD plot, okay? So let's see how to plot them. 
and how to understand or how to interpret that violin plot. SNS dot violin plot df dot petal length. Okay, and let me just make this as y equal to so that it can be vertical. So I'll plot in a two different way so that you can see side by side. PLT dot subplot one to one. And this will be one to two. Okay, this I'll give X. Okay, so I have changed the orientation so that you can easily interpret your box as well as your KD. Okay, so if you see here, see what is happening. Let me use this particular pen color. If you notice here, right, this white dot, right, this is nothing but your median. Okay, that is what we saw in the box plot, right, and this is also your median. And this is your upper whisker, this is your lower whisker. And this is your 75 percentile, this is your 50 percentile, and this is your 25 percentile. Okay. And how your data is spread across these median. So you can talk about this also. Okay. So we plot line okay, across the median, then you can see how it is plotted. And that is what is shown here, right? In the let me just clear it. If you see uh, side uh, by side, like box plot as well as PD, uh, sorry. Uh, KD plot, right? This is how it is shown, correct? You see your median is coming somewhere in uh, 4.5, correct? And here in the KD plot also, it is coming, this peak is coming around the 4.5. And that is what's shown together here. You see this white dot exactly at 4.5, or you can see the vertical also, it is in 4.5, okay? And how data is distributed, it is clearly shown, right? This is your peak where your median is there. This is your peak where your median is there, okay? So a couple of variants we can add by, you know, enabling, I think there is one option here. You can show the quartile also. So there's something called inner. Okay, so inner has three, four different kind of, by default it is box. And if I just use quartile, it is going to show me the quartile. This is your 25 percentile. This is your 50 percentile. That's where your median was. And this is your 75th percentile. Okay, and there is another thing called I think strip to show all the strips also. Let me just see what is the value here. What is that in your... I think it is stick and point, right? So you can use stick. So you can show the sticks also, like all the data points in the form of a stick. And let's say if I make another one, one, two, one. Let's make three columns. One, two, three. And this will be your point. Right? So whichever way you want, you can just plot it. So it can show the point also. Okay, so that is what is your violin plot. I think it will be very good if you guys are plotting two different plots, rather uh, plotting two, you just plot one violin plot. And both the things you can see the uh, together in the uh, graph. Okay, KD as well as uh, your box plot. Okay, now let's talk about what is population. So this graph is very helpful. Okay, whenever you do a lot of statistical inference, I'm sure you are going to use this particular graph and understand it easily and help them other to understand uh, easily. So now let's see what is population in sample. So I'm going to clear this now. Okay. So in a statistics, right, uh, whenever we talk about data set, right, so data set, let's talk about Indian population, right? So Indian population is almost 1.3, uh, 1 crore 30 lakhs, right? sorry, 1 crore 30 lakhs, correct? 1.3 CR I'll mention, okay? So let's say if you have to take a sample of all the one, 1 crore 30 lakh people, it is practically impossible. It will take ages to collect the data, right? So what we will do, let's say we are going to collect the height of, height of all male and female person. Or let's talk about only male person. Okay, I want to collect uh, all the uh, male person height. Okay, so there'll be, lot of data which 
will be like if you are going to collect for all the population it will be very huge data right a lot of data will be there and it will take ages to collect and you know do further processing so what we'll do instead of taking all the sample we will collect only let's say maybe 50 lakh or maybe 30 lakh data or maybe just 50000 top 50000 data will collect so data is already available i'm just going to collect only those top 50000 data okay so this particular thing right where all the population samples are there population data is there that is known as your population and whatever sample we are going to collect from like small subset right subsets i will mention and that is known as sample so you do all the further uh, statistical inference or st statistical uh, detail here then you will be easily try to get in uh, try to get complete picture of the population that's where we are uh, getting into the sample okay so we'll be collecting sample and getting all the details or infer all the details about the population okay so now when we talked about population and sample uh, population as well as sample data set, right so here we talk about two things one is like mean which is represented as mu whose uh, mean will be represented as in the form of summation of like x equal to from 1 to n summation of all the x okay so all the data if you sum together and divide by total number of population that is going to provide you the mean of population okay similarly when you talk about the sample we can represent this as let's say we are talking about height or maybe i can just represent a mean using m or i can represent mu with bar right so mu bar is nothing but mean of the sample and this is nothing but similarly sample size maybe i'll just take n bar and here x bar equal to 1 to n whatever sample you have taken right and this will be x bar i okay so take all this uh, add all the sample whatever you collected sum them together and divide by total number of sample this is nothing but total number of sample okay so that's how you calculate and here you can prove that whenever your sample size is growing right let's say sample size keep growing so whenever you take mean of that sample right this is going to be closer equal to sample of population only in that case whenever sample size is growing if sample size let's say you got total population is let's say one lakh okay and sample size was fifty thousand correct so from from 50 you went to 60,000 then 70 then 80 almost you are trying to converge to mean of the one lakh right one lakh people right that is what i'm trying to say here as the sample is growing the mean the sample mean will be getting converged or getting closer to the population mean. okay so that's what i wanted to show here so let's go ahead and just do some kind of you know pictorial view of population in sample so what i'll do i'll just take random sample here so mp dot random int random dot ran int let's say from one to or oh, maybe hundred i'm going to collect 500 or maybe thousand samples okay and i'm just going to plot them plt dot scatter say range so total number of index will be uh, length of a and what i'm going to plot is a okay let's beautify this little bit plt dot figure fix size equal to 16 by 4 plt dot show and here i'll just say alpha equal to 0.8 so this is your population data okay now i want to collect the sample of some data from this particular population okay so what i'm going to do here i'll just randomly pick those data here so let me just show here i'm going to pick let's say this particular data this particular data this 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 from here i'm just going to pick those samples 
maybe let's say i'm going to pick 500 sample from this population okay then i will be taking as sample and do the mean calculation so let's go ahead and do that so since we have already populated the population and let's go ahead and get the mean of population so print mean of population equal to np dot mean of a so 49.501 that is the mean of population okay now let's go ahead and take the sample how to get the sample we have something called np dot random dot choice okay choice from where the original array that is nothing but population which i have given as a and how many samples i want to collect total 500 okay and go ahead and do the plotting of same thing okay so uh, this i'll be taking a sample now and here i'll be plotting sample and alpha will be let's say three okay this is a sample but you will see the size and all everything is matching almost right so what i'll do i'll just try to overlap this along with population then you'll understand how this has come here so let's plot both of them together and here i'll just use color equal to let's say blue and alpha i'll just set equal to 0.7 scatter alpha why it is not taking Color equal to red, I'll mention. Okay, so I think this is good enough to uh, represent it pictorial view. So what I'll do, I'll just try once again, alpha equal to 0.2. See, same thing is working here, but why it is not working here? Sample alpha. So instead of sample, I'll just take a, a and color will be, let's say, K. And this sample, make it eight. Yeah. So this black color is your population. Okay, I can just add label also to make it understandable. And this one is your sample dot listen okay you see black is population and orange one is sample so out of this complete population i took the 500 sample and i'm going to do all statistical analysis on these 500 sample only okay so let's go ahead and take the mean of this so mean of sample we are getting 49.528 so you may not see very significant difference, but how your sample is in like say billion or trillion, right? Then you'll see significant notice here in the uh, sample mean as well as population mean. And as you grow sample mean, then your uh, mean will be converging towards the population mean. Okay, so this I can show here. So let's say you have sample and your A is nothing but right so let's prove it with the help of this formula so i'm going to take let's say out of 100 i'm going to collect thousand or maybe i'll give bigger value here 10000 i'm going to collect out of thousand i'm going to collect oh 100 should be okay so from 1 to 100 i'm going to collect thousand sample as well as 500 sample okay now let's just print mean Take the same print statement. So this will be your A and this will be your sample. You see here, so population mean was 50, 49 and mean sample of 51, right? Now let's go ahead and just change the value here. See here, 
Now, the moment you increase the sample size, it is going to converge or it is going to uh, going towards population mean. Okay, it is more or less it will be exactly same or very closely matching. Okay, let's take another value here. I'll just increase to 950. And see here, 50.149 and 49.3 is a very close value. Correct. Okay. So that's what whenever you are going to do statistical analysis for very large data, take the sample or pick the sample and do further analysis. And you will see like a data of that sample is almost sorry, whatever statistical analysis you did, right? We can infer that population is also following the same uh, what is it trend, whatever sample is following. So that is the use of uh, taking sample from the big population. Okay, so I hope you understood what is violent plot and how to, what is the population, what is the sample and how to, you know, pictorially uh, or, or how to visualize the population as well as sample from the population and what is their significant from the mean. Okay, so that's all for today. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Those who have not subscribed my channel, please do subscribe. Okay, and any problem, please leave the comment in the comment box. I'll definitely solve in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.